Welcome back to the Supercoach Enough channel. In this video, we're going to preview round 23 of the 2024 NRL Supercoach season. Uh, I'll try and get through it nice and quick. I am I'm trying to double handle a few tasks here, multitask, I suppose. Um, so we get stuck straight in with the uh, most popular trade-ins this week. Uh, and the top of the list, we've got Joe Tarpany from the Canberra Raiders. Um, I think a lot of people switching him in for Payne Haas. He looks like he is done for the season. Um, I think it's a great trade-in, particularly if you're playing overall. Um, if you're playing head-to-head, -head, I do like uh, number five on the list, Mitch Barnett. Um, but obviously, he's a bit more expensive, and Joe Tarpany is a bit more of a like-for-like -like in terms of budget as well as uh, potentially output for the rest of the season. Uh, Callan Ponga, um, I guess people just bring him in because he's playing against the Tigers, I'd imagine. Maybe some people, you know, with Tedesco desperate to, to you know, get an advantage in their head-to-heads. Um, I guess, you know, if, if you are comfortable with keeping Ponga for the rest of the year, you can absolutely bring him in. Um, but, you know, if you want Tedesco, I think you just hold. Um, you know, other fullbacks, I'll leave that to you. Uh, Val Holmes, I think, is a great trade-in. Um, you know, 136 looks attractive with the break-even. Uh, the Broncos have been a bit poor defensively of late. So I think if you're looking for a center wing gun this week, he is the top target. Uh, Cam Munster looks like he's just about bottom down in price. So a really nice point of difference. As you can see, only owned by 7% of the uh, league. Um, so great option if you want to bring him in. Uh, Mitch Barnett, as I said, if you're playing head-to-head, uh, -head, I think he is the, the one to target. Uh, to cover Payne Haas, uh, you know, the dual position is nice. Obviously, the only issue is the budget, so if you can swing it, uh, get him in. Tom Travojevic, I guess, you know, coming off the bye, a few people were waiting a couple of weeks ago to strike, so uh, you can absolutely get on him now. Uh, Zach Lomax, um, personally, I prefer Val Holmes, with, in particularly the matchup against the Dogs, you know, it means that uh, points are probably going to be at a premium, I'd imagine. Um, so, yeah, so if you look for a center wing, I'd go Val Holmes. If you've got Holmes, then, okay, Lomax is a solid option. Olaquatu back from suspension, so get him in as a late-season pod. Um, Harry Grant, you know, number one hooker. I think you can get on him if you'd like. Uh, and Samuel Lafonu, um, I mean... He's sort of that middle price point, you know, the 112 is nice, but you're not going to get that this week. Um, you may get lucky and get it this week, but chances are he'll sort of revert to his average. Um, so probably not the strongest uh, move, but I mean, if you're downgrading from Payne Haas and going to use the money to upgrade elsewhere, two trades, okay, fair enough. Uh, on the chopping block, Payne Haas injured, makes sense. Dom Young, injured and on the buy anyway. Um, so, you know, you've got Holmes, you've got Lomax, so I think that's good. Tedesco, I think's a hold. You know, he's going to be back next week. Uh, Eli Katoa was just a one-week thing, so I'd try and hold. Um, maybe if you're going up to Barnett, I'd allow it. <laughs> um, Ronaldo, injured. Ezra Mam, injured. Tamara Martin, not yeah. selected. Um Terrell May on the buy, so I mean you can switch to Tarpany now. Uh, Tyron Wishart on the bench, so is absolutely a chop. Uh, Cody Walker, I'd probably hold. Uh, he should be back this week, and perhaps I'd potentially hold too. You know, I don't think he'll score 11 again this week. Um, so captains, almost forgot. <laughs> so Nathan Cleary again, just playing it safe. I think it's the strongest option. Um, so that's fine. Tom Travojevic, a bit more of a pod. You know, in Canberra against Canberra, I don't like it, but fortune favours the brave. Uh, Callum Ponger against the Tigers. I mean, if you're bringing him in, absolutely makes sense. Um, Tedesco, obviously people haven't switched from last week. Uh, the Cowboys against the Broncos, I like both of those shouts. Uh, I haven't changed the top 10%. That's probably half the issue. <laughs> Because Nico Hines would definitely not be on that list. Um, so let's go that way. 
So Ruben Garrick features again. Don't really like Manly against the Raiders in Canberra. Jaden Campbell against the Sharks, not the keenest on. Uh, and then Mazu and Kiraz probably both very much at throws at the stumps. If you can do VC, probably better. But Cleary does play it early. So quite a few people have VC Cleary. So I guess, you know, they might be Cleary into Tommy Turbo or something like that. Um, but, yeah, no particularly, you know, rate that. I'd just straight C. Um, for feeder, I guess, is always in the VC conversation. Harry Grant playing tonight. It's probably a nice VC shout. Cam Munster, if you've got him, I think is a really great shout. Um, Pappenhausen playing tonight. So I think, you know, these Melbourne guys could be the ones to target if you're looking to loop, and I'd lean towards Munster and Pappenhausen in particular. But I guess in terms of my team and how it's going to set up, um, so I, I didn't undo it. <clears throat> But essentially, I think what it comes down to, I had to replace Haas. I think if you're playing head-to-head, -head, you go with Barnett. If you're going for overall, you go with Tarpany. So um, because I'm focusing on head-to-head, -head, you know, my overall rank isn't 7,000. You know, I've got no, no goals of, you know, winning. If I can keep top 5%, that's probably a win, uh, given how I've gone this season. So... You know, try and win some cash in your head-to-head. -head. Try and win a couple of the, the enough leagues that we've got. So I think Barnett's my ticket to that. So I've brought him in. Um, you know, I'm going to hold Katawa, Crichton, Tedesco. I've got cover. Um, you know, it sounds like um, Luttrell might be out a bit longer than um, first imagine. They might even sort of hold him off for the season. So great news for uh, Jai Gray owners like myself. Uh, but as you can see, I've gone with McLean against Para, uh, Asako on the bench. So, you know, stack in the center wing. Um, you know, Fino and Porter did well last week. Might happen again this week, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just sort of got them on the pine. Um, so they do play the last game too. So any late outs and stuff I can potentially cover um, with those guys. Even, you know, Gray, Tulangi will be locked out pretty quickly. Um, and yeah, Captain Cleary, just nice and simple. I could potentially VC Grant, but um, I think, you know, I, I'm just happy to lock Cleary in. Got uh, a bit on this weekend, so I'm not going to be watching the footy uh, too closely. Um, other than Saturday night, 7.30, the dogs at uh, Cogra. We'll see how we go. <laughs> and even then, I might, not, uh, I might get a bit distracted. But uh, I'll wrap the video up there, get it out nice and quick. So, as always, uh, if you've got any questions, comments, thoughts, add them below this video. Give us a like if you enjoy the uh, Supercoach content, as always. Subscribe for all the fantasy sports content on the channel. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next one.